brilliant occasion. Reportedly over 18,000 people here in Celtic Park. There is a breeze in the first half and it's going to be helping Derry. McGonagall, Ryan McHugh. Oh, there's a little bit of space here. Here's an opportunity, a big opportunity! That should have been buried into the back of the net and it was Keelan McGonagall. Lynch got a touch. Was it? Somebody got a touch on it. If it was. From Derry, Connor Doherty. Owen McAvoy from Maharafelt. And the shot from Connor Doherty, wind assisted. He's accurate, he's very accurate. Wouldn't surprise me at all if, if Mickey Hart has sort of read that Donegal were likely to sit fairly compact and fairly deep. That's a bit short. And Donegal have turned it over. Lynch has to get back in his line. Here's Niall O'Donnell. Oshin Gallon behind him. O'Donnell is a long way out. Chrissy McCaig there with him. Lynch is back on his line now. Donegal, after a score out of this, Dara O'Boyle should on 13 metres out. And he does. Derry's mistake out the field is punished clinically. It's three each. Sean Tapp making little of the breeze. Derry lose the kick out. Donegal win their own ball. Dara O'Boyle on on is off his line. Goal! Dara O'Boyle for Donegal. They are loving their trip to Celtic Park. Unbelievable, but a brilliant, brilliant finish. Brilliant block down by the goal scorer of Wheel. Kieran McFall. Donegal again not leaving anybody up the field. It's just all hands on deck. Everybody back. Paul Cassidy. Cassidy given space. They will give players space out wide, and that's brilliant from Paul Cassidy. Serious score by Paul Cassidy right out in the wing. Keelan McGonigal. Their lead has been chipped away at by Derry. Tanner Mogan through. Here's a scoring chance for Donegal. Mogan's run there was just brilliant. He cut in behind. The ball got popped in overhead. Kieran Moore has kind of come from nowhere to be in this championship team. Very fine young footballer. Kieran ball. ball, what a fantastic ball to Brendan Rogers. Rogers spins one way, then the other. Thought about the goal, decided I'm in a tight spot. I'll take a point, and that's what he's got. We don't want half time now. Donegal won seven, Derry nine. The players need a breather though. Look at that way beyond the other 65. Almost at oh, wow, the 45. Wow. Shades of 2014. Here's Darrell Boyle again. Lynch is off his line. Oh, Lynch oh. is a goal. Another goal. It is like 2014 when they got those goals from the tip ons on the kick outs. Oren Lynch again caught off his line, 2-7 to 9. What a start to the second half for Donegal. Dara O'Boyle, the two-goal star. Shane O'Donnell, Oshin Gallon runs out towards him and O'Donnell's gone in behind. Gallon was brilliant, opened up the space and O'Donnell is down. Penalty, penalty for Donegal. Brilliant, brilliant feint by Shane O'Donnell. For their third goal, Derry have been scoring all the goals in the league. Donegal, Gallon right down the middle. Right down the middle from Oshin Gallon. And Donegal in the 47th minute, 3-8 to 10 points. Brendan Rogers, Lachlan Murray put his boot through that. It's been a different type of day for Lachlan Murray, but his quality shone through right there. So here comes Gareth McKinless. McKinless found some space and McKinless, he's put it over the bar. The new goalkeeper was shouting that it was wide, but uh, the officials thankfully didn't listen. Strange, a four point lead is never just looked so small, just admit it. Oren Lynch competing, he's out here of this go. goal. This could finish it. Lynch is out of the game. Donegal can win this quarter final here. They've met over goal. It's a fourth goal, and it's a brilliant strike from Jamie Brennan. This is stunning stuff. That has to be it. Just left looking for consolation scores or a consolation goal. They won't have time for two. Shane McGuigan has time for another point. They were big favourites coming in here today. But Jim McGuinness is back. His second coming. 
and it's another victory, four in a row, against a Mickey Hart-managed team. Donegal, 4-11. Derry, 17 points. Trying to build towards the championship. Um, the Ulster Championship will always be the number one for myself, anyway, and uh, trying to instill that in the boys as well, and I don't think that's a hard job. Um, they're, they're special nights, you know, and just delighted that we were able to... Um, to sort of bring the level that was required because Derry are a phenomenal team and I suppose one swallow doesn't make a summer from our point of view. You know, Derry will be there, I have no doubt about that, uh, at the business end of the season, you know, with Dublin and Kerry, I suppose. Um, but for us, it's a victory and it puts us into the next round and that's the most important and pleasing thing.